Hi everybody, um, I'm busy making the, well, let's tell you a story about this. This is some fabric that I had that I made, started making a dress for, and it was a free pattern. I'd made the dress pattern before, oh, a long time ago, and I don't think I actually showed you it. And I loved the front, but I didn't like the back because it, me having, go, I, I go in at the back and then out again, I, I go in and then out on my bottom and I didn't want it to flatter my I didn't want it to accentuate my bottom so I thought right I'm going to have it straight down on the back so I modified the pattern and made it so that it went straight down and on the front I had the gather turned out nice but was a little bit on the small side and I wasn't liking it as much so I thought oh I'm not going to carry on with this so I took it to bits and I've used this fabric and I thought I'd make the Vienne blouse now the vn blouse is one that i'll have to look it up to see what the lady's name was but she sent me the pattern uh before christmas it was and i it was when i was making those patterns with the frills or i wanted to make patterns with frills um and she sent me this pattern and i thought right i'm going to do that and i'll try it with this pink fabric i had enough left so unpick the skirt unpick the top and uh, i managed to get uh so far what I had to do was I had to put a seam at the back. So basically, where's the back? Um, yeah, that's the back. That's the back. And this is the front. Now, you can't really see anything, but this is the front. And the front has this kind of frill that hangs down. But I'm not liking this frill. Um, and when I looked at the photographs, it doesn't... Whilst the drawing on the, on the pattern accentuates the frill the people who are wearing them didn't have as much of an accent it just looks like it's hanging straight down or a slight kink so I think I'm going to play around with that I've got an idea in my head of what I'm going to do with that frill that's there I don't know if you can see I'll stand up and let you see this is the frill and I've got a hat it basically hangs in such a way that it's kind of has a bit of a it's supposed to be kind of like that but it's not working so I'm thinking about maybe putting a little dart in here and a dart in there and a dart in there or gathering it or something just to give it that bit more of an accent of a frill and so um so I'm busy on with this and why was the reason not well I was telling going to tell you about it and I don't know what it's like it's looking good apart from the frill at the front so watch this space and I'll show you and tell you a bit more when I get it done just so you know this is the Friday uh, what's it called? Oh, golly, you know, I can never remember. A Friday pattern I made several of. I made about five or six of these blouses. This was the first one I made. I love it. But I'm going to try this on. It's inside out, but let's see what it looks like. Well, I haven't followed instructions yet. I'm just, as I said to you, I always try and do my own thing. I think that what this has to do is, I think that has to go, have a little... I'm not sure how we'll do it, but apparently we have a little prestor or something here. Perhaps it goes that way like that. I don't know. I'll have to have a look at it. This is one bit of the instructions I'm going to have to find out. But I think it goes like that. And then somehow or other this twist down here. It's looking quite nice. I have made it longer. Um, I don't know if I can show you how much longer I, I have made it. Let's see if I can go back a bit. Um... I made it longer, it's actually almost like a dress. Can I get you further there? Let's see if I can... Where can I put you? Oh, I know, I'll put you here. I'll go in here, in this bit. And then you might be able to see me better. Right. So, uh, drop you down. Drop you down to there. So this is what it's looking like at the moment. Um, sleeves need taking up. I made it a fraction longer. I think I made it two inches longer. And it's quite nice. If I drop it down to let you see what the length is like there, you won't see my head, but you may get to see the length there. So, as I say, this is kind of... This is what it was looking like on the things where it was just dangling one little bit. But I think it needs some kind of bit more of a frill. And I'm quite fancying maybe putting some elastic in or doing something just to give it a bit more of a frill. Um, not being too bad, I've got the bias binding to go along the top. I've got to put a little press stud somewhere here. 
I'm not sure if it goes like that and goes back over. I'll have to look at the instructions on that bit. But other than that, it's not too bad. We shall see what happens when it's finished. Well, this uh, this has not, not been working for me. I have this piece of fabric here that she says I have to put a, a little hook here and then this comes round to there to hook onto it. Not working for me, but I've made a line. I actually need it taken in a bit more. So what I've done is I've got a line of stitching where the stitching is and I've gathered it a little bit and it actually hangs that little bit better. Does it hang that? It hangs that little bit. It looks a bit more like a wave. Do you think? So I figured that what I might do is I've gathered, that was my stitching line and I've gathered it. All I've done is I've just pulled the thread, to be honest. The thread's been pulled. You can see I've still got, this is what I've pulled. And I've got this kind of gathering effect which I think, <laughs> I don't know, it's, one, it's one of those blouses I don't, it's actually not too bad, it's actually not that bad, but I think that's what I might do, I might now go over that gathered part, just in this top few inches around the bust, just to get that little bit of a drape, see what happens there. Well this feels a lot better now I've taken the sleeves in I've still got the uh, I've taken the sleeves and I've still got the thread to thread through the seam it feels a lot better it's a bit nicer on the on the uh, on this piece but it's it's hanging a lot better it's looking it's feeling as if it's a bit more comfortable still feel like I think it's the seam because it has a little has a little seam down here and because it goes right from the top here to there, I think it should have gone further down to about here to get the rounded shoulders. But that seam stops here, just on the shoulder. And it gives me pointy square <laughs> shoulders. I did taper it down to try and get the get a curve going round. Because uh, years of experience have taught me that. But uh, this is hanging much better. I don't know if you can see this is hanging much better. Um, would I make another one? No. Do I like it? It's quite nice. It might end up, I'll wear it for the spring, summer, and then after that I might just turn it into a, a dress, uh, not a dressing gown, some, a nice attire, I don't know. I quite like it. It's a poly cotton that I've got on, and it looks it looks quite nice. But, um, I don't know if you can see. I've, I think I've still got, oh yes, I've just got a pin there. So I'm going to have to put some kind of press stud or something there or even stitch it up because I can get it over my head without without uh, having an opening. But this is what it looks like. It's not too bad. I wouldn't... I've, I've made... Uh, I've, it's quite nice. I just think... I'm pleased I did a bit, bit of a gather here down there. I'm pleased I did a bit of a gather to give it a bit more of a frill here because otherwise it would have just kind of looked like that. You see the way that's hanging there? So the fact that it's got a little bit more gather, it kind of has a little bit more more three-dimensionalness three dimensionalness to it. So there, this is the, what was it called? I'm terrible at remembering, remembering names. I can't remember what it was called, but this is what it, this is it. So, I'm liking this better. I'm getting a little bit of a gather there, and it looks a lot better. And I'm quite liking the dress. I'm quite liking the blouse, actually. It doesn't look so nice in there, but it really looks nice. So, basically, what, I, what I've done, I've still got the pin there. So, I think I might put some kind of popper or something there. So, that, well, actually, I don't really need that because... I can still get my head over this even without that being there. So I think probably I'll secure that. I can get my head through here as it is. So I really don't need this opening or this hook or whatever she, she was doing to it. Was she going out? I don't know. But anyway, to me, this is hanging much nicer. And what I've done is I've just gathered about four inches on that piece of thread that I've done. It's a bit... I need to unpick these bits here. But I've just gather that and basically it hangs down a lot better and it kind of lifts it up at the front a little bit you can't see there it kind of lifts it up a little bit at the front here at the bottom 
but it's not too bad but that is actually looking quite nice it's a nice color it looks even better in that light let me just yeah and here it is this is the finished product and it actually looks a lot better because i've pressed it and i've pressed it and it hangs oh, i quite like the way it's hanging there i think it looks quite nice because it's hanging to the right and then it turns a little bit to the left there so that's quite nice and um, i'm beginning to like it more beginning to like it a lot more than before